again, don't forget to bring your devices if they need to be fixed or if you want to connect them to CMSD resources. This is a great time to get excited about coming back to school, which happens Monday, August 22nd. And so joining me now is Carla Hampstead. She is the Director of Family and Community Engagement to talk about the Parent Ambassador Program it's because that is a great program to help parents and district be better working relationships so that it can benefit the students. So welcome, Carla. Thanks Thank for you. coming. It's awesome to so, be here. Second year for the Parent Ambassador Program. Absolutely. Just explain to me what the program is about and what it entails. Okay. The Parent, Parent Ambassador Program is a program that CMSD decided to implement. This is our second year, where it entails us engaging parents of children who currently attend CMSD to actually get more integrated and in working in the schools. And the main purpose is to get other parents involved to let parents know that they have several opportunities to be engaged in the school and to be able to talk to another parent with a quite same perspective. We thought that would be a little easier for parents to be a, have someone on the school grounds that they could talk to about different concerns and questions that they have. So those parent ambassadors are there and they have a stake in it because they have their child in the school as well. Right, and so they're acting like basically a liaison between the parents and the school district. So the first year, how did, how did it go? First year went pretty well. It was, of course, our pilot year, and we got a chance to see exactly how well they would be able to engage. We know that it's a learning curve for both the parents as well as the staff, because we're not used to working so closely together, but it did allow other staff to see that there is value in working with parents um, and helping get other parents in, as well as gaining that parent perspective on how to better execute um, other partnerships and the child's success. It also helped the parents. They were, you know, picking up and dropping off your child is a little different from going inside a school and actually seeing how things work. It's humbling to see all of the background work that goes into educating the child and it makes them more committed and more excited about being a part of it. That's wonderful. So talk to me about what, if a par what does a parent ambassador do at the school? Parent ambassadors actually are those wealth, one of the main ones is they're like a welcome wagon. They want parents to know that, you know, hi, we're glad your child is here and there are even opportunities for you to come, but they're safe and we care. And that if you're just dropping them off, at least you know, that they are working with adults who care about what happens to them. So they're like a welcome wagon. They, you might see them at drop off or at pick up. They also help with creating those platforms for parents to be more involved like the different parent meetings, like a school parent organization or a parent advisory committee, which we do have at our schools where parents get a chance to ask questions and get to know staff better. They also are helping with developing like resource areas because the school sometimes can be a great resource for families for those other concerns, issues, or things that they need to help support their family. So they're creating like these resource areas where they can tell you what's happening in the community, where are the resources and uh, supports that we have not only internally in CMSD, but also externally with our community partners. So they're, and, and just making calls and making sure that parents have right and good information, which sometimes misses them, but they at least let them know, you ha let them know what's going on, what's happening, and all the opportunities they have. And do you think that the parents appreciate having that peer-to-peer -peer contact so that they... Absolutely. Because sometimes Absolutely. when they hear it from the district, it may not be well received, but Absolutely. if they hear it from a peer, Absolutely. then they're like, oh, okay, then it is yes. legit. And then the parent ambassadors also, along with helping them with any concerns or anxieties they may have, they're giving it from a parent perspective. You know, it's kind of like, I got skin in the game. Mm -hmm. You know, my child is here too. Right, right. <laughs> so I want you to know how I have perceived it. And then some of those parents who may have a little anxiety about even joining CMST, the parent ambassadors can tell them about the good experiences they have and why CMSD is a great choice. And do the parent ambassadors also um, or host uh, any events like parent cafes or, you know? Absolutely, any absolutely. Thank you for bringing that up, Darielle. That's part of the, what happens in the parent meetings, that we've developed this, we've 
taken on the responsibility of implementing a research-based program called Parent Cafe. And it's an opportunity for parents to just come in and sit down and talk to other parents about what I say, things that matter. How do we strengthen our family? What's going on? How do we handle different issues, relationships, communication, um, social skills, financial literacy? And it's not one of those situations where people are talking at you. It's where we get a chance to talk about what we're doing. And a lot of times it helps just to know that you're okay. Not that I need advice, not that, because we don't give advice at the parent and cafes, we listen to each other. And it's utilized with pre-developed questions. And they're not yes or no questions, they're reflective questions. So coming to the parent cafe, you get an opportunity to talk to other adults about how you're raising your family, what's working for you, what new things do you want to try, and you leave out, and these are words that I've heard from parents who participated, restored, rejuvenated, yes. And it's a, so it's an opportunity to get and talk to adults about things that matter. Wonderful. Now, if someone listening to this conversation is like, hey, I want to be a parent ambassador, are, are still any positions available for this year? Is it paid? You know, what's the cost? You know. Oh, absolutely. Our parent ambassador position is a part-time position. We work up to 25 hours per week at the school that your child attends. Um, it, it pays $15 an hour, Darielle, so that's a good cost. Now, if there are some schools that have one and there are some schools that do not, I would encourage the parent, if they're interested, to check with their principal. Okay. They would know and then ask, tell them that they're interested in becoming a parent ambassador and they can either call our office, our Family and Community Engagement Office at 216-838-3223, mm -hmm. email me, carla.hempstead at clevelandmetroschools.org, or just get in touch with their principal and let them know that they want, and we'll get an application out to them. And the application also exists on our website. Wonderful, and how many parent ambassadors do you have right now? Currently I have 41. 41, so that's, that, it's grown. That, yes, it's, it's constantly growing, Darielle, because as we do it, more schools are getting, um, are hearing great things from other schools about having a parent ambassador and how helpful it is with them and they're starting to catch on and make those referrals. Our plan is to have one per school. Nice. And yeah. this is all in an effort to make sure that students have a successful school year. Are successful. Everyone here and everything we do, one ultimate goal, that students are successful. Wonderful. Anything else you'd like to add about the Parent Ambassador Program? Um, get involved. <laughs> get involved. CMSD is a great place to be. So, if, so for example, if a parent cannot be a, a Parent Ambassador for one reason or another, what, what would be your suggestion on how they can get involved? Absolutely. Um, we actually have volunteer opportunities at every school for a parent, depending upon their commitment level, to be able to be involved. Each school has uh, different ideas of how they would like to have parents be involved through volunteering, and that's an option that's always open all at every school. So the parents, if they want to get involved, they can get involved, they just need to ask. They just need to ask, just come on and ask, right. absolutely. And, and you definitely want, the more volunteers, the better. Because the better, the better, because this whole education process, it's a community thing. Yes. It's about getting everybody involved because the student's success it does not just rely on the teacher, it does not just rely on the community, and it does not just rely on the families. It relies on all of us working together to make that child successful. That is a great point. And on that, we will leave it. Thank you, Carla, for Thank all your you. information. I appreciate your time. Thank you. And definitely, we have about one more hour, a little bit less than an hour left at this 2022 Tech Fest and Back to School Bash here at East Professional Center. If you can't make it today, don't worry. We're having a second one next Saturday from 10 to 2 at Max Hayes High School. So we hope to see you there. And if you definitely make sure that you get to your meet and greets this week as school starts on April 20 or August 22nd. Um, so definitely, but again, a great vibe here, a lot to do for everyone in the family. So definitely come on down if you can. And again, thanks for watching.